What's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are here bringing you guys another video for Pokemon Sword and Shield Rank Double Battles. Today, we are rocking out with Xerneas alongside with Butterfree and one of my favorite Pokemon to use on the Rank Double Ladder, which is Gyarados. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you're crazy. Hit that big red subscribe button and join the community. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But getting started with this team, we're starting off in that top left corner. We got the main man Butterfree over here. I absolutely love Butterfree. I think it's an awesome Pokemon, and it was such a beast in earlier seasons. I forget the exact season, but like I would say about like five or six. It was amazing. It was just putting Pokemon to sleep left and right and one of the most dominant Pokemon in the meta. It's got Compound Eyes over here and the Focus Sash as an item. Sleep Powder, Rage Powder, Protect, and Pollen Puff as its boost. So absolutely love it. We can put Pokemon to sleep. We can cover Ally Pokemon. And we can also heal Ally Pokemon at the same time. So this Pokemon is amazing at support and controlling the battle. Right next to him is Gyarados, one of my favorite Pokemon to use in Ranked Double Battles. I don't know why, I just always loved it ever since I was a kid. And then when I used it in Ranked Double Battles, I just thought it was really strong and really fun to use at the same time. Intimidate Ability, Assault Vest as an item, Waterfall, Icy Wind, Power Whip, and Lash Out for that moveset. Crazy strong moveset, a lot of coverage there, and a huge stab damage move with Waterfall. Middle left, we got Xerneas over here, the heart and soul of the team, the restricted mon for the team as well. Fairy Aurora ability, Power Herb as an item because what other item are you going to use with that? Geomance, Protect, Moon Blast, and Dazzling Gleam, that same strong moveset that every Xerneas should have. Malwak or Alolan Malwak right next to him over here with that Lightning Rod. It's really used because of its ability. It's going to be able to protect Gyarados really, really well. Same thing with that Butterfree with that Lightning Rod and it counteracts on Regilecki who is so huge in this meta right now. Thick Club ability, Bomerang, Protect, Flare Blitz, and Poltergeist for its moveset. Another thing that this Pokemon is great for on this team is, say, we go into a Trick Room. Say the opposing team runs a Trick Room, we can bring that Pokemon on their team and roll out with him because he is an absolute beast in Trick Room considering he's slow and he hits like an absolute truck. Bottom left corner is going to be one of the support mods for the team, and that is going to be Persian. Well, a low one Persian over here. We never use this Pokemon, or we never see it on the rank ladder, so this one's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome to use this Pokemon. Vert Code ability, Citrus Berry as its item. It's got Fake Out, Parting Shot, Foul Play, and Quash, which will make the opposing Pokemon go last in his turn. So, absolutely love this moveset. I think it's going to be fun to use, especially with the uh, Quash. So, hopefully, we can use it, test it out, and grab some wins with it. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Kartana, who I haven't used in a good bit. He was really, really good in, uh, I want to say last season, or well, the last two seasons. It was really, really strong. It was being used a lot, but this one's rocking Life Orb. It has the Beast Boost ability, so it's going to be able to hit like an absolute truck. And once we get a kill, we're just going to get that attack boost on top of it, so we're just going to keep being able to roll and snowball effect into a stronger Pokemon. Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, and Protect as his moveset. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder, try to get some wins with the Xerneas, Butterfree, and Gyarados team. We got a tough one for battle number one. We're going up against a Kyogre team, a very strong meta team right here with the Kyogre, the Tornadus, the Rillaboom, Regilecki, and then he also has the Heatran and the Lola Malwak, which makes this team pretty strong. But let's see who we should go into and how we should go about this one. I could leave my Persian for the fake out. Could also use that, be able to quash. I'm thinking going Persian and Xerneas here. I feel like that could be really, really good. I'm definitely going to rock out with that. Going with that combo. I want to bring Butterfree. I really do want to bring Butterfree, but I'm definitely going to bring Kartana considering it's a fast Pokemon. It's able to do big damage as well. I just want to check stats real quick before we do actually rock out. just want to see speed stats. 134. Okay, you know, our team's actually pretty fast here. The only one who's not fast is going to be the Malwak. But like I said, he's pretty much used there for the Lightning Rod or if the opposing team wants to rock out with a Trick Room. I definitely want to rock out with these three Pokemon. And then I think final Pokemon, I think we're going to bring in the Soul Fest Gyarados. This could come in in the back end and be able to do some work. I'm with it all day. Let's rock out with this Pokemon. Let's bring it in in the final spot and hop into our first battle. But guys, let me know for question of the day. Since we're using Butterfree and Gyarados, it just makes me think of Generation 1. So what was your go-to team for Generation 1 in any Gen 1 games, considering you have the OG ones or you have Pokemon Fire, Red, and Leaf Green? Uh, for me, personally, I absolutely love picking Charizard, even though I loved all the starters. Like, I always used to mix around with it. But my first team ever was Charizard, Gyarados, Victory Bell, Dragonite, and then it was, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of the last two. I think I had, I used to always switch between Gengar or Machamp, if I could get them, because you guys know you have to trade for them. But if I can get them, Gengar or Machamp was on one or the other. And then my fifth and final spot, who was I picking? Who was I always picking? I feel like I always had somebody. I always had a set team, but those were like the main five that I used to rock out with. 
Let me know your guys' answer in the comment section down below. If I figure out my last one in my head, if it just pops in, I will definitely let you guys know. Actually, it might have been Nido King. I feel like I always used to rock Nido King. Yeah, I think it was Nido King, but yo, dude, I love Generation 1. I absolutely love Generation 1, or at least a Pokemon that you can pick out of it. Just such an awesome variety. Such, I think it's the best Pokedex ever. But we're rocking out with a fake out here. I think we're just going to hmm, get this hit up on this Heatran here. Hit up on this Heatran. It could be our play. Then we could Geomance here. That's exactly what I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to Geomance over here. And I'm going to fake out onto the Heatran and see what he does from here. And see what he does from here. Because he could be going for a huge steal shot into my uh, Xerneas. So we're just going to fake this thing out. Turn one. Make that thing flinch. See what that... Uh, Oh, he is air ballooned. Tailwind is going to pop, and he's definitely going for a steal, a steal move, right? If I had to guess, he's got to be going for a steal move, right? So Geomancy is going to pop, or Power Herb is going to come out here, and I'm thinking of protecting and potentially parting shot next turn into, say, like, my Gyarados or something along those lines. Let's just see how this one goes. Geomancy is going to pop out here. He boosts our special defense as well, which is lovely, which is lovely, because, you know, if he's rocking Flash Cannon, that is a special attacking move. So special attack is boosted, special defense, and we have our speed set boosted as well. So for now, I can actually go into, I could party shot, or I could just quash, but I think I'm just going to party shot into this thing, and then swap, or well, not hard swap, I'm just going to protect. So let's protect this thing. Let's get rolling there. e is definitely a big threat, so I'd rather uh, swap into something that's going to pose a threat to it as well. So protect can come out from a Zern. I'm guessing he could either double down into me, or there's an icy one. Okay, so there's, he's looking for the speed control. Looking for speed control. And I avoided that attack. And there's the flash cannon. We saw that coming from a little bit away. But I think we should be fine being able to eat up a shot. So, I'm trying to think what I should go into from here. So, there's that special attack drop. That thing is minus one on special attack. We are plus two on special defense, so that's huge. I'm going to go into Kartana. Kartana could be pretty good here. I'm thinking of going into Kartana. Or should I just go into Gyarados? What should I go into here? I'm thinking of saving my Gyarados and going into Kartana, even though Fire Move could be very scary for this. Now, nah, let's just go into Gyarados, play it safe. Play it safe, he does have Tailwind up. I'm thinking of just dropping a Dazzling Gleam, just to do damage over onto the what's called slot. Over onto the uh, Tornado slot. And still being able to chip away a little bit of damage on the Heatran, even though we're not going to do a lot. And then just doubling down and Waterfall into that. I'm kind of with that all day, because I feel like Xerneas should be able to eat up a shot, no problem. We're 232 HP. We're plus 2 on special defense. He's minus 1 on special attack. I think we should be fine here. We could potentially see a swap, which I wouldn't mind at all, considering Dazzle Gleam is going to be able to do big damage with our Geomance set up. But not bad plays right off the rip. We still have Persian in the back for another fake out chance. So I could do that, and there's the Protect. I was thinking of hard swapping. I was honestly thinking of hard swapping. But Icy Wind's going to go for speed control. I think that's what he's really looking for here. Which again, I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with a little icy wind action. With a little icy wind action. So that's fine by me. Dazzling Gleam is going to pop. Probably bring this thing down to Sash or at least take off a Sash. Because again, I think Tornado is either rocking Sash or Citrus Berry. Let's see. What are you rocking? It was probably Sash. So with that going on, I could just go for another Dazzling Gleam, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to double down again. Jeans is going to double down. He's going to do ex his exact same turn there. Again, I just don't see that Heatran doing enough damage to even, like, remotely take out my Xerneas. Unless he gets a crit. Unless he gets a crit, and then I'll cry a little bit and, uh, cancel this battle. But <laughs> we'll see how this one plays out. But I'm really liking where we're sitting. Like, I feel like we set up pretty nicely here. I can eventually swap out, say, my Gyarados. And get out my Persian again, just to have the, that Intimidate in the back end once again. He's gonna end up withdrawing the Heatran. Probably going out in the Kyogre. So I don't mind at all if he goes out in the Kyogre. He's gonna go out in the Kyogre. And I'm trying to think of what I could do. I could probably protect, uh, I could probably protect, ooh, no, I'm really going to do that. Okay. We're doubling down in his, my waterfall is going to do a bit more damage. And I'm actually, I'm actually fine with that, considering we're going to do damage Kyogre, making water spout do less damage. Probably going to have to rock out on the origin pulse. And we could potentially take him out with this waterfall here. Let's see, do a Gyarados, do him dirty. Yo, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bad swap by him. Bad swap by him. We get rid of his Kyogre easily. His Tailwind is going to peter out, which, again, I'm totally cool with. So he either has to show us his third final Pokemon or go back into Heatran. He's going to go in the Regilecki here. Okay. I'm kind of cool with the Regilecki. I wish I did have a... Uh, I could swap my Kyogre here. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Just be able to have Fake Out ready to go next turn. 
Did I swap Persian? Did I say Kyogre? I meant my Gyarados, but I'm thinking of just swapping Persian here. They don't have Protect. But yeah, let's swap Persian here. And then let's go into... Just Dazzling Gleam. Straight up Dazzling Gleam. Because again, I do not see any of these Pokemon taking me out here. We're going to play a swap game. Get our Gyarados back out. And get our Persian up here. I don't see him taking out my Persian. Unless he doubles down into it, which he's not. He's just going to set up a Tailwind. And probably go for an E-Web or Thunderbolt. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a Volt Switch, which I'm totally cool with. Persian should be fine with that one. He's able to eat up here. Citrus Berry is going to pop. And we have Fake Out ready to roll. We're going to be able to actually take out the... Uh, the what's it called here? The Tornadus. And he chance to be able to come back out here, which we have a fake out raid roll. So, dude, we're looking really good here. We're looking really good right here in battle number one. He chance gonna pop. We're fine because we got rid of his Kyogre already, and Kyogre was a huge threat. Because I'm fine with taking on this Heat Chan like 1v1 with a lot of my Pokemon. It was the Kyogre I was really scared for, it, and he made a terrible swap, and my Geomance, uh, Xerneas was able to do some big damage alongside with the waterfall from the Gyarados. So, yo, looking good, baby. Jesus starting off really good. We, we're coming off a huge perfect record in our last video. If you guys haven't checked out that last video, we rocked out with the Garatina team, which was really, really strong. But I'm going to just drop a fake out here, and I think I'm just going to... Do I Gleam again, or do I Moonblast over on the Regilecki? I think I'm just going to Gleam. I think I'm just going to Gleam. He's going to protect onto the Regilecki, which is huge. That's why I did Gleam. I wasn't going to Moonblast in that just in case Protect was flying out here. But he just double protects. Okay, he does a lovely little double protect. Big Out's going to come out here. That's going to get blocked. Um, I, Again, I don't see Heatran really taking me out here. Now, who do I quash? That's the real question. I could just quash a Heatran. I'm going to quash a Heatran and go into... Hmm. Actually, if he e webbing I'm trying to think of what, what I should do here. Hmm. Let me just go into this. I say we just quash the Heatran. Go into this right here. Thunderbolt is going to fly through here. Is that going to take out my Persian? It is. Okay. I'm fine with that. Considering we're going to be able to eat up this Flash Cannon, no problem. No problem here. Flash Cannon comes out here. We're still plus two on special defense. That should be easy to eat for the boys. Look at that. They're tanky. Tanking it up all day. Gleam's gonna pop out here. Is that gonna kill the Regilecki? It brings it down to Sash. It brings it down to Sash. Okay, so that was the Sash Pokemon the whole time. I thought maybe the Tornadus had it. But we can bring out Kartana here. Yeah, Kartana's to go to here. We really do not need that uh that Gyarados coming out here with that Regilecki on the field. So we're gonna bring out that. I feel like we should be totally chilling here. All honesty. But we're just gonna drop a secret sword into this Regilecki slot just in case. They double down into my, uh... Actually, I could protect my Xerneas. I mean, I do have double protect. Take off Tailwind, right? Don't I? We could take off Tailwind. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Because isn't there only one more turn left? No, I'm checking on uh, my stats. There's only one more turn. So, yeah. Let's play it smart. Let's go into double protect. You know, I'm not trying to rush anything and lose the battle. So, we'll double protect here. Get rid of the Tailwind easily. And then we should have speed rolling out very, very strong for our team. Very, very strong, because, again, my Xerneas is still plus two, and a 162 Kartana, like, right? It's up there in speed. It's pretty fast Pokemon. It's not going to outspeed a Regilecki, but it's definitely going to be able to outspeed a Heatran, which is going to be huge. And he was going for the Heat Wave for the kill on him, so big old plays by Jeans. Big old plays by Jeans. Now I'm just going to dazzle and gleam, and then I'm just going to pop off with the Sacred Sword into the Heatran and pretty much finish up this battle. But, yo, what a battle by us. We really controlled this battle a lot. We kept our Xerneas in the battle up against the Heatran the whole time. That says a lot. That says how good we played this game. But we're just going to drop the Gleam. We're just going to go into Sacred Sword. He's probably going to cancel battle here, I think. Unless he's going to stay in here. He is going to stay in. He's going to drop a T-Ball here, which should be easy each for your boy. Yep, defense is boosted. And he... I don't like that one, but... He gets a Paralyzed. So Cartana is going to go first here. Sacred Sword is going to take out. And then Dazzling Gleam should come out here and finish off the match. Unless we're Paralyzed. Which still would be all good. We should still be able to easily win this battle, no problem. But yo, GG's. GG's by Jeans, baby. G jeans. I remember somebody in the comment section said that to me before. Said instead of saying GG, say G jeans. And if, if that's you, let me know in the comment section down below. I love that saying.
There was something I forgot to mention in battle number one, and that is if you guys have rental codes for me, make sure you leave them in my Instagram DMs. If you guys want to check me out on Instagram, my name is right below my face cam, and there is a link down in the description below. Go hit that follow button and send me your rental codes over in my DMs. Considering I check my DMs all the time, and I love to see when you guys send me teams, and most of the time I will use them for uh, a video. Definitely look at them and check them out and potentially use them for a video, but if you guys have teams that you want me to showcase in a video, like I said, leave them in my DMs. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a Yabelta team coming off a strong first battle as well he also has the regilecki the moongus the entei and sweet kun combo and then the rillaboom as his final pokemon okay i kind of want to lead the butterfree i feel like butterfree could be fun to play with here uh i definitely gotta watch out for his spores as well i'm thinking of just rocking butterfree turn one and then maybe going into hmm i definitely want butterfree i really like having butterfree on the team butterfree yeah 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 I could lead the Malwak. Malwak could be pretty strong here. Hmm, I could lead Xerneas as well. I'm going to lead the Xerneas here. And then... Hmm, Butterfree, Xerneas, Kartana. Got to have this Pokemon really, really strong. And then I think Gyarados. I think basically same swap. So just swap the person out. This person is a great lead. Same thing with Butterfree. Because I can just put Pokemon to sleep easily. Very fast Pokemon. Very, very strong all around. And most of the times he won't miss his sleep powder. Considering he has a compi compound eyes ability. Which will increase his action. A lot of people like, like, to, like to rock the compound eyes with the Y Lance, but I really like having Focus Ash on him instead. This is a real lightweight Pokemon. You can get one tap really easily. Especially with Regilecki out here. Especially with Regilecki. Okay. Um, I think I'm just setting up a Geomance here and putting. Hmm. Did I put the Regilecki to sleep here? Did I put Regilecki to sleep? Hmm. What shall jeans do? Bam, bam, ba -dam. I could palm puff. I could make the play of the week right here. Watch this play of the week right here. I'm gonna protect the uh, E web coming out here. And we're gonna heal up our what's called easily. He's gonna Volt Switch into Butterfree. That's cool by me. That's silly cool by me. Our focus is gonna pop out here. Please hit my Xerneas. Please hit my Xerneas. Is that gonna put somebody to sleep? Let's see what he does here. I thought he was gonna E-Web. Now my Butterfree outspeeds. That stinks, man. Pop-Up's gonna do nothing. Pop-Up's gonna do absolutely nothing. That's fine by me. He's gonna bring out your belts. With the Dark Aurora coming out. And Pop-Up's gonna come out here. <laughs> I thought he was gonna E-Web slow down and then double down into my what's it called? I thought, then I thought he was going to hit my Xerneas. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought he was going to do. Let's see what his Entei does. Hopefully his Entei hits up on my uh, Geomance Pokemon. My Xerneas over here. Because then at that time we could... Uh, we could still have our Butterfree in here. Let's see what he does. He's just going to... Wow, what a waste of a turn. What a waste of a turn here. <laughs> <laughs> what an absolute waste of a turn there. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. That's kind of funny, but we're going to put you to sleep over here, Yvelto. And then I think we're just going to go into a waterfall. If I hit this Pokemon hard, I probably should have went for Icy Wind Speed Control. But, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we just did one of the worst turns ever. One of the worst turns ever. It sounded so good in my head if we were going to be able to make the read. But Protect's going to pop here. Butterfree's going to be able to put Yvelto to sleep. I'm going to say night-night to you. Give him his night cool pills. Old man, go to bed. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Ah, dang it. Put this dude to sleep. All right, he went night-night. Okay, he went night-night. I could start Icy Winning for speed control. Hmm. I wish I could palm puff myself. Give me some health. But I'm just going to start chipping up on you and hitting this thing with a waterfall. So you're going to swap into that's really eating up a waterfall really, really well. Not Regilecki. Regilecki's still going to take some big old damage on that thing. And if that's the case, then I'm just going to Rage Powder. Because an E-Web won't take me out. He's going to withdraw that. Hey, there's a withdraw on him. And he's going to... That's what he has. The dang Rillaboom, man. The dang Rillaboom. The dang Rillaboom. God dang it. Stupid Rillaboom. <laughs> He's going to be able to bring that out. Waterfall is going to pop. Not going to be able to do a lot of damage. He does have Fake Out ready to roll here. He does have Fake Out ready to roll. Hopefully, Yvelta does not wake up. 
getting some damage off on that thing. And I think we just start icy winding down. Start taking a little bit of speed control here. Even though he can just grass guy do some massive amount of damage on my Pokemon. I just think Icy Wind is still the play. Uh I roll out with this one. What a palm puff. What a palm puff over on Rolling and go for the Icy Wind. It's gonna be the Gene's play. Gene's play all day. Is Clyde gonna come out here? Clyde is gonna pop. Is it over on the Butterfree? It is over on the Butterfree. But we have an Icy Wind ready to go. Hopefully it's about to sleep again. There's a nice lovely Icy Wind. Super effective on both, but not stab on my end. But still, doing a little bit of damage, but more so for that speed control, which is great. And come on, show me your belt is asleep for one more turn. Give me one more, give me one more chance here. Give me one more turn here. Ah, man, here comes Yvelta. Oblivion Wing's gonna fly out here. Do a little bit of damage. We are salt vested up, which I really, really like. So, Gyarados shouldn't be able to take too much like that, like I just said. Was that 49? But he gets a little bit of HP back. Probably gonna bring him up to full. No, pretty close to it, though. Well, he's gonna get it now from the grassy terrain. Uh, ch -ch Hmm. The rock out with Zern. I think Zern just posed a big threat. But I could go into you. I'll go into Kartana. But I'd rather go into Xerneas. He poses a pretty big threat here. And I can start getting after this, uh, this what's called as well, the Shubel. But... So, we don't have our power herb. He hit us with a huge roar. A huge roar, which worked really, really well. I could go into Moonblast. But I could see him swapping, so I'm just going to go into a Gleam. And if he swaps, who would he go into? I might just double down on Zern. Where's he gonna protect? He could protect. I don't know. Hmm. I can see him protecting. I think I might just slow down again. What do I do? You know, we're doubling down at this thing. Hopefully he doesn't protect. He's gonna protect. Yeah, watch. He does not. Yes, sir. So we get a nice little double down on this thing. They get off some nice damage there. Give me a flinch on that thing as well. Here goes our Gleam. Can Gleam pick up the KO on that thing? Maybe? Mm, no, it does not. It's rough news. Dark Pulse is going to fly through here. Come on, yo. It's easy eats. It's easy eats, Gyarados. Oh, it's Gyarados. I thought he was going after my uh, my Zern here. He's going to knock off on me. We should be able to eat that up as well. Nope, we do not. So he picks up the double kill. Xerneas does outspeed, so I can pick up the double kill on him very, very easily with this Dazzling Gleam. So the real question is, who do I bring out from here? Well, it has to be my Carton because <laughs> I totally forgot my Butterfree's dead. So we had a rough turn one, but we still have these two very strong Pokemon here. He has a Regilecki, who is a lightweight. And a Dazzle Gleam is going to be able to pick up the double kill here. Or, 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 hold up, wait, let me see speed real quick. I could play this one super, super smart. I could play this one super smart by letting my Kartana get a kill. Okay, Kartana definitely goes first. So we're going to let Kartana get a kill. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to let Kartana get a kill here. Just for the beast boost ability. And that's going to work out perfectly for us. So we're going to be able to take out Yvelta. Grass God is going to come in here for his last hit. And that's going to chip away on to my Xerneas a little bit. A little half health there. But here goes our smart strike there. We're going to be able to pick up KO there. That's exactly what I wanted out of him. So we can get that beast boost. And get that lovely beast boost, baby. So attack is boosted here. Cortana is going to take some life orb damage. And then Moonblast is going to be able to fly through here. And take out Robin. So, okay, it, we have a shot at this one. Even though we did one of the worst first turns, it could have been the best if we made that, if that read came out to exactly what we wanted it to be. But we, we went real risky on that one. That was real risky. <laughs> like, like, we really, like, tried predicting the whole turn. We're like, all right, he's going to E-Web. He's going to hit on to my, my Xerneas slot. We're going to heal him up. It's going to be power move, but it was not power move. Regilecki pops out and Entei as his final two Pokemon. We already knew that one, and then I could just... That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Gleam. I'm going to have to double down into this Entei slot. Thunderbolt is going to fly through here. He's going to go after probably Zern. And Zern does eat, which is lovely. Lovely. Sacred Sword pops out here. Can we take out this Entei here? Dazzle Gleam should be able to... We should be able to outspeed him, right? Show it to me. We don't! We don't! Oh! Oh, my Zern does now speed. My Zern does now speed. Hold up. We need Gleam to do some damage here. Come on, Gleam. Get a crit onto Regilecki. Oh, my God. Is this thing not even sashed? No way we lost to that. We just lost to a free focus, Ash. What do you mean? What do you mean?
That was definitely one HP, right? It could have been two. It looked a little looked a little thick on the bar. But dude, we legit just lost that if he wasn't sash. No way. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could protect. We're gonna protect. We're gonna protect. We're gonna play slow. We need him to, to miss an attack, but chances are he's not gonna miss, right? Chances are he's not gonna miss. Thunderbolt comes out. Block. We set up a block. Hmm. I certainly need to outspeed that Ante. I want to see that Ante speak because I'm definitely gonna go check out the Ante speed because I think we're, what are we? One. It's gotta be super super close. 119. Gotta be super close. We're gonna fight here. We're gonna say he misses. We're gonna send a prayer to the Poke Gods. That's it. Thunderbolt comes out. Ah oh, man, Thunderbolt's gonna be able to pick up the KO. That's gonna be GG's. We lost this battle. We are one and one. We definitely lost this battle because of our first turn. If we had a stronger first turn, we definitely would have won. I have some bad news to inform you guys with. That last battle, the Regilecki was not Sash. We checked the team. And that Entei's speed was 120, which my Xerneas was 119, so he lost that battle due to inches, due to 1 HP and 1 speed stat, which is crazy to me, but that's the game. We're sitting at 1-1, one one. we're hopping to our third and final battle. He has a pretty strong team here, with Lilligant, Torkoal, what is that, Necrozma, but Lunala form, and then he has My Shao, Sakataka, and Indeedy. So, Malwak, you're seeing the light here. Just in case the Trick Room's popping, you're definitely coming in here. Uh... Who else should I go into? He does have Protect on him, right? Just in case. Actually, he can't be faked out, so there's no big deal with that. We are going to lead him right off the rip. Uh, who else are we going to bring in here? Hmm. I, I, don't, I actually don't think we should lead him. We could see what we can do with Butterfree. Maybe we can put their Trick Room Pokemon to sleep. And lead the Gyarados. Gyarados could be pretty strong here. But I think we're fine with these guys right here. I think we're fine with this squad right here. Let's not bring Kartana here. I'm going to bring Malwak over Kartana. But just in case he's trying to go for a Trick Room, like I said, we have to bring him out. His team looks like a Trick Room team. He has a Torque One, he has a Sakataka, he has a Necrozma. Both of those Pokemon can actually pop Trick Room. Like I said, the Sakataka and the Necrozma. So, I want to lead my Malak, but then that would just be like, he could go for the takeout instead of uh, popping the Trick Room. But Sakataka and Indeed, he's going to come out here. So, he is going to go for the Trick Room easily. He's easily going, instantly going for this Trick Room here. I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. I think I just drop a Moonblast, and what do I go from here? Drop a Moonblast. That's what we're going to do. We're going to double down to this Indeedee. And then we are going to Rage Powder and potentially put, uh, well, not even Rage Powder. Just Protect our Xerneas and put somebody to sleep. So let's Palm Puff. Let's double down into you. There's no way he's protecting, so it's Moonblast. I could go for a Geomance. Geomance could be nice. <laughs> it could be nice, but I want to double down into this Indeed slot. Yep, there's Follow Me. That's totally fine. Totally fine. I'm doubling down into you anyway. Because we already know you were following me. And you were going for a Trick Room. And we don't mind you setting up a Trick Room. So Pop Off, we're going to come be out here. Do some big old damage. And then Moonblast should be able to finish off this Indeed, no problem. It better. I'm going to be very upset. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. Get him out of my game. Okay, so Stakataka setting up the Trick Room. We know that for a fact. Look at him. I love how he lifts up, yo. Lifts up and he's just like hollow on the inside. <laughs> but there's Trick Room. It's popping. It's out and about. Uh, I do have my Focus Ash still, so we're going to put somebody to sleep. It's probably going to be Stakataka. Or we could do Torkoal. Torkoal's very scary. I'm not putting a sleep here. I'm not putting a sleep here. They put Torkoal to sleep. Torkoal poses that big threat. We are Sash. But like I said, I'm going to protect. I think he's just going to go into, like, a, say, an eruption and then into, like, a gyro ball. Into my Xerneas slot. So that can bring us down to Sash and we can at least block one move. Yep, there's gyro ball. Your boy. Your boy has the reads, man. And there's the eruption. Yo, look at the reads, baby. Look at the reads. We still have our Sash, which is huge. So Sash going to be able to pop out here. And let's go, Sleep Powder. I need you to put him to sleep. Lovely little Sash. Lovely little Sash. Sleep Powder comes through. Go to bed, little turtle. Go to bed. Dig yourself a hole, burrow down into it, and go to bed. Get a little sick of you. So there's the big sleep there. Um, now at this point, I want you to go down here, and I'm going to just uh, start chipping up into this. Uh, oh, it could Geomance. It could Geomance. Hmm, I don't think Geomance is play. I think we just move by and we start chipping away onto the Torkoal. I'm going to withdraw Torkoal. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the withdrawal on the Torkoal because we're dropping a Moonblast. The Chrisma is going to fly out here. Look at this thing. This thing's looking sick. Looking real sick. Rage Powder Chain come out here. And then he could think that I'm protecting next turn again. 
but we'll see how this one plays out here. Gyro Ball's gonna fly through here. Uh, we're really playing well with our benefits, even though he's dead. Beast Boost is coming out here, and that's a defense boost. This is a defense boost, right? Yep. Big old defense boost. Moon Blast is going to be able to fly through here. Let's do some damage, baby. Decent amount of damage. Uh, I think Malwak might be player, right? Why do I bring out Gyarados? I said we save for Gyarados for my Trigger Man's, but let's bring out Malwak here. Um, he could think I'm protecting, which I might go for that. I might just not even protect. Could go for the Boomerang, it could go for the Poltergeist. I think I'm just dropping a bone. It's at least defense boost. I know Poltergeist would take out you. I really do wonder who he's going for. I'm going to Geomance. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't think he's going to go after my uh, my Zern, right? He is. I should have protected it. Dang it, that's going to take him out. Should have protected it. You know, the, the, the simple plays will win you battles. Will win you battles. They really will. But now, dude, now he's defense boosted. Crazy. Like crazy. Ah, uh, thanks. But this thing is going to go down here, too. It's Poltergeist. Wow. Get out of my face. But, dude, that's crazy. That this thing's defense boost, and we only have two defense boosts, or two physical attackers now. We got to bring out Gyarados here. Let's Intimidate will pop. So, if he brings out a, a physical attacker, that could be nice for us. Or if he brings out a Torkoal, that won't be good. It is going to be Torkoal. Who is still asleep? Who I still dig is asleep. Okay. But, yeah, simple play is usually when you guys games. I was trying to make a hard read there by going into that not protect. Because if I was him, I would be like, okay, he's protecting, right? But he just he just went with a simple play and that won him that, that uh, battle right there. But I'm going to double down on Sakataka here. Like I have to. Like I have to. Torkoal should be asleep for two turns. He didn't even, like, take one turn off yet. So, I'm with it all day. So let's go. Let's double down into this Pokemon. See how much damage we can actually do to this thing. So, Body Press going to fly through here. Gyarados should be able to eat that up, right? Yeah, easy eats. Easy eats, baby. Not very effective. Torkoal's still slump. And we'll double down into the Torkoal next turn, depending on how much damage we do here. Boomerang's gonna fly through here. That's chipping. That's doing some nice chippy damage here. Even though Waterfall's not gonna do a lot, considering it's in the, uh... It's in the drought. We still want to send it here. Mm. <laughs> no, didn't like that one bit. But Twisted Dimensions are back to normal, which means my boy goes first means my boy goes first, so I am going to boomerang over onto him, finish him off, and yo, we're looking pretty good here, to be honest with you guys, and just waterfall over onto you. Now I goes first now, over Sakataka. Actually, Gyarados will go first, and he just cancels battle. Yo, let's go. That's how it's done. 2-1 for today's video. Grabbed ourselves the winning record for today's video. Absolutely love this Xerneas team right here. It's always a fun Pokemon to use around with, and it's always super, super strong. We also got to show off the Gyarados and Butterfree, two of my favorite Pokemon to use on the rank ladder. So I was happy with that, and I had a lot of fun playing with this team as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Also, guys, if you guys want to send me teams, like I said earlier in today's video, send them in my Instagram DM. Send me them with rental codes. The link is down in the description below. And name is right below my face cam but seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out everybody